I'm Lauren and I'm going to show you how to properly wear Infantino's Hip Rider Plus in hip seat mode. You'll know your baby is ready for hip seat mode when they can support their own head. I know baby wearing can seem difficult and I want to help make it easier for you. When you're ready to use the hip seat on its own, you need to remove the carrier from the hip seat. To do that, remove both clips on the hip seat and unzip the zipper. The great thing about the Hip Rider Plus is there are no lost parts. You can store the carrier inside the hip seat while it's in use. Simply flip the lid, unzip the carrier, fold the body in half and roll it up nice and tight. And then it'll go right inside the hip seat. Once it's in, just zip it up and you're ready to go. Now you need to find your natural waist. Do this by putting one arm on your hip and the other out and bend, just like if you were a little teapot. The center of the bend is where the top of the waist belt should be. Since the waist belt is where most of the support will come from, you wanna put it on nice and secure. It's easiest to do this by adhering the Velcro in the front Then buckle and tighten. Next, turn the carrier around to the front. Placement of the hip seat is your preference. You can choose the center of your body, slightly off your hip, or on the hip. If you have extra strap, you can secure the ends with the tidy loops by rolling up the strap and securing the loop around it. For inward facing, baby needs to be able to hold their head up on their own. If baby can also sit up on their own, you can flip to outward facing. This is Olivia. Place the baby on the hip seat, making sure they're nice and centered on the seat. Make sure to always support baby. You can also turn them to face outward and support baby on the stomach. Now you're ready to go. Great job.